Hey everybody, Jeff the Cracker Jack Mechanic here. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your charging system. Understand that the charging system is to support recharging of your battery so that you have battery for your accessories and to be able to start the motorcycle. Okay, in this video, I'm going to deal with the permanent magnet type alternator, which will have a stator, a magnetic rotor and a regulator rectifier and the battery so I'll kind of touch on each one each one will have a test you will need a multimeter to perform the tests and three terms that you're going to hear are going to be AC voltage which is alternating current voltage AC voltage DC voltage for direct current voltage DC voltage and the third one will be ohms for resistance, which you're gonna use an ohm scale to measure the stator windings. So the first check that you're gonna to wanna to perform on your charging system check will be to actually check the DC voltage at the battery. So set your multimeter to the direct current voltage scale. We're gonna check across the positive and the negative, and we're actually gonna see what the DC voltage is at the battery. We're gonna start the motorcycle, we're gonna run it, and we want to see a rise in the DC voltage getting back to the battery. You're going to want to see with the battery without the bike running 12.5 volts to 12.8 volts and then once you start the motorcycle and you increase the RPMs you're going to want to see the DC volts getting to the battery increasing as well and then with more revolutions a lot of manufacturers suggest in the service manual to get up around 5000 RPM and you should have 14.2, 14.5, maybe even as much as 15 DC volts at the battery with the revolutions up higher. That will indicate that your charging system is actually functioning properly. If you go higher than that, there's an issue. And if you're undercharging, there's an issue. And then you'll have to do some further investigation. So service manual specs are going to be something that you're going to want to look up for your bike in particular. But as a quick check, DC voltage, start the motorcycle, rev it up. You want to see the DC voltage go up. You're going to want to see it get up over 14 volts. That's a pretty good indication, a pretty quick indication that things are working fine. Usually if we're checking our charging system, there's a reason possibly the battery itself isn't uh, as new as, or isn't in that great of condition. I find that with a good UASA OEM type battery, we used to get five to seven years with a properly maintained and charged battery. I think the quality's come down a little bit. You're looking in that maybe four or five year range with the good OEM style UASA battery. Some of the le less expensive batteries, you might only get a year, um, but I, I kind of go in that three, four year range, depending on how well the battery's been maintained, if it hasn't been abused. But under regular operating conditions, that's the life expectancy that I kind of work with as far as what you'd expect to see out of a out of a quality OEM UASA style battery um, versus a uh, say a, a white box or a, a con, uh, economical a, a less expensive battery. You're going to see that uh, th three four year range um, lifespan out of a battery. So first check DC voltage. Rev the bike up. You're going to want to see an increase. That's a fast. Uh, quick and dirty check and just give you an indication of whether the charging system is working or not so So with the motorcycle running, the DC voltage did not increase. We know that the charging system is not functioning correctly. Next, we will go down and check the stator for AC output to see if we're getting a proper AC output of, from the stator, in which case then we would suspect that the regulator rectifier is faulty and replace. But right now with the quick DC voltage check, we know that the charging system is not functioning.
right, I want to go over checking the AC output of your stator. Uh, very common to have three yellow wires, three white wires on a three phase um, stator, a three phase charging system. The output you're going to check um, is one. It's nice on this one because they're all separated. A lot of times they'll be in a plug together. So we've got one, two, and then three checks to make um, as far as we're going to check first the resistance between each winding to each winding to see that it's not shorted out to ground and then with the motorcycle running we're going to switch to a dynamic check of the actual AC alternating current AC current output of each winding and the three-phase system. So this is very common on Japanese metric motorcycles. These are the checks that you want to make when you're checking to see if your charging system is, is working and what needs to be um, possibly replaced. So this we're just checking the stator um, and the rotor assembly. The Depending whether it's an excited field or a permanent magnet um, we just need to understand right now that we're, we're more concerned about the actual output of this particular system to see what, uh, what's going on with our charging system. It works nice on this particular motorcycle. It's an older Goldwing GL1000. We've got the, we've got the battery right there as well. So we can do a quick DC voltage output uh, check as well as just the DC voltage of the battery. So I've got my multimeter here. I've got a uh, digital, digital type, blue point. It doesn't really matter, but we're gonna set it. Initially, what I wanna do is turn the meter on and turn it to the ohm scale. Uh, I, I got it on the 200 ohm scale so that we can actually check each winding and we'll go through that one at a time. Bring it in a little closer here. Hopefully we can see everything. So we're going to go one. And we've got under one ohm of resistance. Uh, they could vary. My experiences is that you don't want any resistance, very low resistance between windings. I interpret a lot. This is the second set again. It's under one. And now we want to switch from this one to that one. So they're all similar. All three phases are similar under an ohm. So again, we run a check from these two, then these two, and then these two for three checks. So that was the, the actual resistance of one winding one, two, and three. And now we'll check for this to ground find a good grounding point on the motorcycle. A motor mount usually works fine and we don't want to see any continuity between one, two, or the third winding as that would indicate that we've got one of the windings is actually open or shorted to ground and then the charging system won't perform properly. So. The, the alternator, the stator is fine on this particular bike. All the checks were okay. The from within each winding was under one ohm and then individually each winding to ground was fine. So this was checking the integrity, the condition of the actual stator windings. And with these tests, we know that it is okay. We use the ohm scale to check the stator Hopefully this helps you out. I'm Jeff the Cracker Jack Mechanic. If you like this video, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.